the News 8 Storm Team forecast with Chief Meteorologist Joe Calhoun. I'd probably leave a little extra time tomorrow morning also. You can see live on our Hershey Sky Cam still a little bit of uh, glistening to the roadways. And yeah, the temperatures are down, so yeah, it could be some refreezing out there. Again, we're at 13 degrees officially. Northwest winds at around three miles an hour. A couple of things happened. The skies cleared out for a while, and the winds have really dropped off, and that has allowed the temperatures to really drop. You get down into the low teens and single digits, the salt doesn't work as well, so you can still have some slick spots out there. Plus, I think these winds are really going to pick up overnight. We had that light, fluffy, powdery snow. That's going to mean a little blowing and drifting, and that could cover some of those north south roadways as we go through the morning hours. So, overnight tonight, the winds increase. It's going to be very cold. We'll get some clouds back in here and kind of level the temperatures off in the single digits to mid teens. The temperatures are going to be all over the place. But blowing snow could also become a problem even into the morning commute. Now, by the time we get to tomorrow morning, when the winds pick up, yeah, that's going to mean uh, wind chills down near or below zero, and that's the way it's going to stay most of the day, I think, tomorrow with a blustery wind, very cold day, and it could be as an Arctic cold front comes in, some scattered snow showers anytime from late morning into tomorrow afternoon. Now, I don't expect widespread accumulations. However, you get underneath one of these showers, you could get a little coating, maybe even up to an inch in a few neighborhoods. But look at the temperatures right now. It's dropped to nine in Lancaster. Two, as I mentioned, dropped 21 degrees in just three hours at the York Thomasville Airport. But it's 21 up in Sealands Grove, 23 in Chambersburg. So they're all over the map in terms of the temperatures, kind of depending on where your winds have been and what, what has happened with the sky cover. But not much of a wind chill out there right now, teens and single digits, pretty much where we are temperature wise because the winds are still light. But nothing on the radar. The, the radar has cleared it out. You can see how the sky is kind of cleared out. We're starting to see some more clouds, though, coming in from the west. There's the, this morning snow. It's well out to sea now. We are watching a little, another little clipper system. Could give us some snow showers as we head into Friday, but it looks weak. It looks like it's mostly going to curve off to our north a little bit. But what's happening right now is the first storm has now moved out to sea, and we're watching this Arctic cold front coming down from the north. Now, it's probably going to come through during the day, and again, like some snow showers, but it's really going to crank up the winds, even starting ahead of it late tonight. So the Arctic front by morning, you see the line of snow showers ahead of it into the mountains. Well, watch what happens. That front comes through, and then the snow showers with the northerly winds kind of take the, the, the direction of the winds, those northwest winds coming off the Great Lakes. Could be several inches of lake effect snow off to the north. That frigid air comes in behind it, and maybe a few more clouds by late in the day on Thursday, but we'll see a fairly sunny day. There's a wind chill advisory off to the north. Watch what happens if these wind chills start dropping to. 10, 15 below zero by morning. We'll be below zero all day tomorrow. Look at these brutal wind chills. 20, 30 below back over western Pennsylvania. For us, yeah, by Thursday morning, could be feeling as cold as 10, 15, 20 below zero. We do get a little bump, but again, maybe a few snow showers coming in during the day on Friday. Then as we get into uh, Saturday, still kind of brisk and blustery and cold again. We get a bump up again on Sunday. It looks like temperatures do moderate a little bit next week, but we could see a wintry mix as we go into Monday. We'll Gotta keep say, on that. as long as it's not causing problems, the snow tonight is beautiful. It, it does looks look like somebody nice. threw glitter. It does in. look nice. Yeah. yeah. All right. Thank you, Joe.